Guys, 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 hear me out. So scientists and governments are telling us that our consumption of fossil fuels is what's causing climate change. But what these fools forgot about is that volcanoes pump out more CO2 into the atmosphere than like all of humanity put together. So maybe we should focus less on these solar subsidies and more on a giant cork for Krakatoa, put an end to this once and for all. Except this might not be the full story. Welcome to the first episode of Climate Myths Debunked. So first of all, yes, this is a very real argument that I have seen parroted all across the internet. The claim is that the increase we see in atmospheric CO2 is not coming from humanity burning trillions of tons of fossil fuels, but is actually because of big volcano eruptions. And the main guy who's been saying this is Ian Plymer, a former professor of mining geology, director for multiple mining companies, and a member of the climate change denialist group, the Global Warming Policy Foundation. In his 2009 book, Heaven and Earth, he claims that over the past 250 years, humans have added just one part of CO2 in 10,000 to the atmosphere. One volcanic cough can do this in a day. And this is where the rumor was born from. So let's take a look at this quote and figure out why it's so misleading. The first part states that over the past 250 years, which is basically all of the Industrial Revolution, humans have added just one part of CO2 in 10,000 to the atmosphere. If we look at the internationally recognized upward trend in atmospheric CO2, we will see it has risen from around 280 ppm in 1750 to around 422 ppm in 2024. That's over a 50% increase, so not quite a 1 in 10,000 increase. What Plymer is of course referring to is that carbon dioxide is such a trace gas in the atmosphere that if you include all the nitrogen and oxygen in our air, which makes up about 99% of it, then we've only added one part of CO2 in 10,000 parts of total air. Clearly this statistic was picked to undermine the impact of global CO2 emissions, which just don't need to be a major component of our air in order to have major impacts on the greenhouse effect. If we were to emit enough CO2 to say 100 parts per 10,000, I don't think anyone would still be around to watch this video. But aside from downplaying the relevance of all our carbon emissions, what else does this quote mention? One volcanic cough can do this in a day? While this honestly seems plausible, I mean after all volcanic eruptions can be massive earth shattering island splitting events that seem way bigger than our puny little coal plants. But what even comes out of a volcano when it erupts? About 99% of the gas in eruptions is a varied mixture of water vapor, carbon dioxide, and sulfur dioxide, which actually cools the planet, along with some other gases and heavy metals. So yes, volcanoes do emit carbon dioxide. This has been well known for decades, leading scientists to figure out how much they emit per year. A study from the American Geophysical Union compiled more than 20 different publications estimating this amount published between 1979 and 2010. They found that the global average for terrestrial and underwater volcano emissions is between 0.15 to 0.26 gigatons per year. Now this does sound like a lot of CO2, and it is, but let's compare this to the amount humanity puts out in a year. As of 2022, the CO2 emissions coming from fossil fuels and industry clocked in at around 37 gigatons. This means that volcanic emissions are only around 0.4 to 0.7% of the size of anthropogenic emissions. So unless every volcano starts chain smoking cigarettes and coughing up a storm, I think it's safe to say it's not volcanoes. But just when you thought we were out of the woods, the Smithsonian Global Volcanism Program publishes this graph of volcanic activity over time. So w w wait a second, the volcanoes have been coughing more. The, the, the evidence is right there. Okay, take a deep breath. It's not actually because there's been more volcanic activity. This clear upward trend over time is measuring the number of active volcanoes that we know of. The reason this has been going up since 1800 is because our growing population and communication technology has more people encountering and recording active volcanoes that were previously unknown to science. These new volcanoes have just been flying under the radar for decades, meaning they probably weren't very impactful on the climate. Also some pretty damning evidence can be seen when we look at giant eruptions with actual impacts that we couldn't miss. These larger eruptions, spewing at least 100 million cubic meters of stuff, have not gone up or down over the last 200 years, while CO2 clearly has. I think that's more than enough evidence to officially put an end to the rumor that volcanoes are causing climate change. Myth debunked. Thanks for sticking around to the end. 
comment your thoughts in the video, or suggest a climate myth you'd like to see debunked in a future episode. As always, the sources are linked in the description. If you enjoyed this, make sure to like, subscribe, and share to support Planet Zero. I'll see you next time.